Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my RIJS course. Now in this video, we will try to see how to output the list of posts. So list of data, anything if you have a list of data, how to output it to the looping. Now here in this video, what we have did is, so get post, we are using the get post method, right? If you try to DC down, so we are not using the post. So let's try to use this get post here. So in this get post method, we are trying to show all the single post here. If I try to see the output, I will be able to see post 1 and post 2 like this. So fine. So tomorrow if you have another post, so if you are getting dynamically from database or anything, so if you are trying to show this one, again you need to copy the single post and you need to paste it down with the 2, 2 as an index. <clears throat> so this could be a DDS job for us. So now how could I loop over these all the single post component so in React.js? How we can do is, there are, uh, there, are uh, there is one way to uh, use this one as we already know that this is a JSX template not an HTML so it is a syntax sugar of the HTML so we cannot uh, we cannot use the we cannot have something like ng for our VF, VFN for supported in the react.js so we can use the native javascript for loop map loop and all those things we can use it so how we can use it here now let's try to see one approach so what I will try to do is I will try to create one variable let post is equal to and I can loop over this dot state dot post dot map and here I will be having the post. So in this one what I can do is I can copy this entire single post. Okay. Here I can paste it directly so that I can use here the place of here I can use post.title. Here also I can use post.title post.description. Okay. So this is how we can use and now I can directly remove this all the things here and I can use the post. That's it. So we have looped over the each component single post with the post list. So if I try to see here the output, we are able to see post 1, post 2, post 3, 3 posts. This is one method. So we are using the map thing, we can use like this. So if you want to use the for loop or something like that means, then what we need to do is, so in the same scenario, I will be commenting out this one. So let post is equal to array, I will take the array. The same thing, for let post of this dot state sorry this dot state dot post and here i can use post dot push i can i can take this post dot push and i can copy this one and i can paste it here automatically i can remove over this one all okay so post of post of title yeah like this we can so now post dot push and here we are using the post so this is also the valid one so if i try to refresh it here i am able to see the output okay so this is how we can loop over the elements. So if you try to see here, when you are getting one error, that is nothing but so key is key should be there. Okay, let's try to see that key. Now here we have seen how to loop over these elements. Now so now looping over these elements not not about not only like this. For example, if you have if you want to loop over here in this in this HTML. So instead of writing that logic everything, if I want to loop over in this one, how we can loop over is <clears throat> so in the embedded JSX code also you can use the map loop. So for example, just like what we have, how we have used the ternary operator, these things. So in the in the JSX itself, in the template itself, it supports the map operator also. So how can I do here? This dot state, sorry, this dot state dot post dot map of post you can use, and here you will be having something like this and I can use it here okay so how we are having yeah I can do one thing here and I can add it here okay so we have used it, this one so now if I try to see the output now if I try to see the output we are not able to see the output right so why it is happening is so here we have used it like this right so we need to return so if we are using like this we need to return or otherwise, if you are not using this flower bracket, there is no need to return. Now, if I try to see the output, we have able to see the output. So now we have seen the for loop, we have seen the map loop, how we can use it outside the uh, JSX template. So we have we can use it like this, or otherwise, we, if you want to use, you can use it like this for loop. And also in the embedded code, also if you want to loop over, you can use the loop thing. Now you are getting one error. You are able to see one error. What is that error? Is each shell in the list should have a unique key property. So this is the necessary thing. So why? Because in order to have the React JS, so to know the to know the looped keys, 
to the to know the looped components so we are looping over these all components right so you need to you need to give a separate unique key for this one all so this key is a reserved word so this will not, this will not be uh, passed to the as a props to that component so here you need to give a some unique uh, name for each property so for example if you can give the index also so a post comma index and i can i can give that index here so if i try to see the output here okay you are not able to see the uh, uh, error has been gone see now you can give the index but the recommended way is so if you are having any id or anything so you need to give that id as we already maintain the id so let's maintain the id here so one so we are for the post we already if you see our courses previous courses in the vue.js and the ngrx courses we will be maintaining this id so you will be having this id so the id should be unique you need to remember that id should be unique and here i can give directly the post dot id like this now if you are able to see the, the error is gone oh what we have given i think for the title okay post dot title here i can use post dot id so this is how we can use the data so now if i try to refresh this page so if you refresh this page you are able to see the output without any problem so this is how we will be looping over the react js elements what not only the elements so we can loop over this everything so div element or anything we can loop over not only the components so this is the way how we will be using the uh, outputting the lists of data if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you